Hey y'all, I'm outside and it's been a very long time so I thought the perfect video to make would be an AP art portfolio tour because I scored a 5 on it and it's really interesting I think, the AP art stuff. So yeah, I wanted to make some interesting content for you guys. Let me start off by saying it's not nearly as good as those other portfolios that I've seen on TikTok and YouTube that have also gotten fives. Like Conan Gray's, I could never surpass his level of skill that he had in sophomore year. And I'm a senior this year. So, um, but I do think it's good to um, show other work that was not as good, but I scored the same thing. Here, here. At the end of the day, it's a really fun class and it's a really good experience. So I would recommend taking it if you're on the fence. I wanted to start off by saying I do have like a list of different materials I use. I used a lot of colored pencil and Copic markers for my pieces and acrylic paint. It was a 2D art and design portfolio. I believe that's what it's called. But I didn't have to limit myself to just drawing materials. Um, this year I am doing a drawing portfolio, but not all my pieces are drawings, so we're gonna see how that is scored. I made sure to not just be using one thing over and over and to have diversity in my materials, which I think is important, but also like I don't think the judges care that much. It was just an important thing to me to really experiment and all of that. So yeah, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. Since coronavirus was happening, they limited the pieces to 10 instead of 15, I believe, or maybe it was a different number, I don't know. But we had to submit 10 last year, and I know that's like less than the amount of pieces that you would normally have to submit, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you. Here are all my pieces. Um, let's start with the first one that I did. So this was the first piece that I did. It was originally a picture of my sister that's what i used as a reference and then i put a bunch of eyes around it and it was basically about um in the olden days people would have all these stories about folklore stuff and people would basically spread these stories around not knowing if they were really true or not but a lot of people would begin having these sightings and they weren't always actually there you know like they could have been fake and people could have just been like thinking it into existence but basically i'm applying that and putting it into this piece and how in a lot of situations there will be people who will um be scared of the dark and all those pretty normal things and um only because of the imagination and because of these stories that might not even be real. So yeah, I hope that explained it. Sorry, there's like birds in the background. And six months later, we were given the opportunity to revise a piece and basically just make a new version of it. I decided to take that first piece that I did and just make a new one. I think the technical skill in this one was a lot better because I used something I was more familiar with. But generally speaking, like my art teacher was talking about, like don't have something centrally placed, you know? Um, what is she? Selfie! You want to incorporate the rule of thirds or like have things diagonal or like not smack dab in the middle, you know? So that's an important thing to remember. Don't do what I did. This piece was titled Catharsis. It was about how I was at a moment in my life where I just needed to release some bad energy. I put some eyes in the background. They were supposed to be like my eyes, but I don't think they fit very well. But yeah, that's how this piece turned out. And the bridge of my nose is also kind of wonky. I wish I had made it go in a little more because it looks like it's protruding. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. This piece is untitled. I took the reference picture and messed with the colors on my phone. It's not really finished. There's a lot of things that aren't done, but it was basically about like feeling guilty about like being born with straight teeth and all other people had to have braces and had to pay all these bills and they were less fortunate than I was. So yeah, I don't know. It sounds kind of dumb, but there are a lot of things like that situation on a bigger scale that I feel guilty about. So I wanted to just put that in a smaller scenario. This is a painting in acrylic. It was on Masonite board. I had to work on this one so much and it still just doesn't look like me. A lot of these are self-portraits, by the way, just because I didn't know what else to do. It was about like not being able to make eye contact because that's a problem I have. I have a lot of social anxiety and I can't make eye contact. So I thought I'd make a piece kind of, I don't know what the goal was, but I, I just put a lot of eyes on my face and called it a day. And it was about not being able to make eye contact. 
this piece was just about like who do I want to be in the future. I took um, pictures of three different people in my art class, Ezra and, and Alyssa, shout out to Alyssa and <laughs> Amelia. And I just kind of merged all their faces to make um, one blob. And it was basically like, who do I want to be in the future? How do I want to present myself? Obviously like not as these people specifically, but just like what kind of person do I want to be in the future, you know? So this piece was started like right before school ended for quarantine and I ended it like three weeks into quarantine. It was basically just, I don't even know. It was like a filler episode, but like as a painting, like I just didn't know what to do for it. It's an acrylic painting and it's the biggest size that College Board lets you submit. It was 16 by 24. Now I'm just gonna show you guys the pieces that I don't have on me or the digital pieces. Um, this was done in oil pastel and color pencil, Prismacolors. It was the second project that I did for AP Art and my teacher encouraged me to use more like foreground, middle ground, background in my compositions. So that's why I did this. The mirror took insanely long and I'm so glad that it turned out well for what it is. And it's basically about mirrors being like something that a lot of people are superstitious about and how a lot of people see mirrors as like portals into the spirit world or all that. So yeah, that's what this one was. And I took the reference picture in my bathroom. That's me putting on some lipstick. So yeah, it's basically the concept of like just someone in their mirror, like putting on their makeup, day-to-day -day things and just not knowing what's like in the mirror, or, like what's behind it on the other side. This was a piece representing just like um, asking the question, like what do dreams mean? And I just put a bunch of different things that I saw in my dreams. This was done with sharpie oil paint pens which are so good i would totally recommend you can get them at walmart they're really useful and less expensive than posca markers which i really like i don't have this one with me it's somewhere in my house but i just don't know where it went it's another self portrait lo and behold um it's a bow constrictor kind of like showing that suffocating feeling that i got when I was in this one situation with a friend and I just couldn't really do anything to help them and I wanted to, but I knew that I couldn't really actually do anything to contribute. Um, so it was just that feeling of like knowing you can't do anything and just having to sit there and wait it out and letting things run their course. It was done in Copic markers and then colored pencil on top of that and then the highlights were just done with a Posca pen a white Posca pen. So yeah, that's this one. <laughs> this last one I'm showing you is in Procreate. It's another self-portrait. It was done in quarantine. It was actually the last piece that I did for my SI and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, it was the first time I used Procreate and had an outcome that I really liked. I think I titled it Me, Myself, and I Alone in My Room and oh my god. It was done with this brush called Plimsoll. It's under the artistic section it's like it's so nice it's so nice it's pressurized really well so like it's really pressure sensitive i think that's the word i was looking for but um yeah i really enjoy using that brush um i think that's what i use for basically this entire piece and the background is just the view of my window from my bed um just because that's how i felt i was like stuck in bed i couldn't really do anything i didn't have covid but i was just sitting in bed because i was like not motivated to do anything so yeah that's what this piece was um just kind of bored unmotivated and yeah that's it <laughs> so yeah that was my ap art portfolio i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you were inspired to make some art it's inktober go make some art um that is a demand i command you to make some art i hope that i'm inspiring you and not the opposite, you know? You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. Um, but yeah, I really love you guys. I'm thanking you so much for your support. I gained like a hundred subscribers while I was gone, or like more than that even, um, a crazy amount, um, while I was not making any content at all. So that, that was very interesting, but thank you guys. Um, welcome anyone who just found me somehow. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Oh my god, I don't know if y'all can see it, but this this ant is holding another ant and I don't know if it's alive or not. It's a very interesting sight to see. Anyway, that's the end of the video for real now. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>